All right, today I'm going to do a PM on the hydraulic pumps. This is the hydraulic pump. You can see we got two big motors here. We need to make sure that these are greased. So there's a grease point here and a grease point here. You got that on each motor. You want to make sure that these both run, that the pumps are working. You want to do a general cleaning. And then this is the desiccant filter. So you can kind of see how that is a pinkish color. It should not be like that. That's what it should look like. It's all blue inside of there. Blue means that it has not absorbed a whole bunch of water. And that's the whole point of those. It's actually pulling water out of the oil through the vapors in the oil. And that means that we have to replace this one. So I'm just going to spin this guy out. And there's an adapter on it. And you can see those plugs in the bottom. That all matters. So I need to keep this adapter. And this is a brand new one. These are mobile lube guards. This is a MOB2 size or MOB-2. And you can see the sizes are written on it. So depending on what your application is, this is a four inch size MOB2. And you don't want to open these early because as soon as they're exposed to air, they're going to start sucking water out of the air. Now with this one, it had four holes open. So I'm going to do the same thing on here. All right. And so that's going to let air vent through all of the desiccant and out the outside. Take the cap off and we'll reattach the adapter. And there is a little O-ring on there, so we just want to get that kind of sealed. You don't have to have this tight and we'll throw it back on. And again, the main point of this is just to pull the water out of the oil. And that is an important thing because it will really help to improve the lifespan of the oil. So you're not have to change the oil quite as often. And plus water being in the oil that's coming in contact with the steel is gonna make that corrode quicker. So just having the water pulled out of the oil is great for all the equipment. The next thing we wanna do is we just wanna do a general cleaning. Quite often there's gonna be small leaks that are gonna be appearing all over and it'll make little puddles. So we just wanna wipe down the whole deck. And this one's really not that bad. I can see like a little shine on some of the parts, but for the most part, it's fairly dry. And on the bottom of the unit, you can see this sight glass. Right here, it says if this is running, this is the correct height. If it's not running, it should be up to here. So right now, it's at the running level and it's not running. If it just stopped, you want to give it about a half an hour to make sure that all the oil that's up inside the press has settled back down into the silk. So right now, it has been settled for a little while, so this should be topped off. So we're going to do that. And we always use Mobile 1409 for this. On some of these, if you fill it up too quick, it'll start pouring out the top, so you want to make sure you're not filling it up too quick. And then we just keep an eye on the sight glass and keep filling as needed. All right. So right now the oil is just touching that high level. I'm going to stop right there. So looking at this, we got M1 and M2. That means motor one and motor two. We got lights for motor one run, motor two run. Right now it's in auto, so it's switched to the right. That means that they can control it from upstairs. If I don't want to control it from upstairs, turn it to off. And if I move it to hand, then that will start up this pump. And on the back of the pump, we got this indicator right here. And at the top it says clean, then we got change element and then bypass. So this is a filter housing. There's a big canister filter right inside of here. And in the event that this was in the yellow when we started up, then we have to change out this filter. I'm going to put this in hand. And that arrow is on clean. So that means this filter is good. We don't have to worry about it. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to try motor two. Turn it on. This one is for towers 12 to 15. And then over here, we have towers 16 to 19. So this is for the left side of the press. This is for the right side of the press. And essentially, we're just gonna do the same thing. Make sure that we're topped off. Make sure that the top is all clean. Run both motors. Check the filter elements. You might 
be able to kind of see as I'm pumping this up that fluid wants to come and build up. So with this one, you got to be a little careful making sure that you're not filling it up too quick. Just so you're not making a mess. Okay. 